Hi, I'm Chris Merwin Dose, and hey, you can do this. I'm making that out of this noise. Because this is Air Windows K Cathedral 4. So here's the deal. I've been doing a bunch of work on the reverb algorithms to the point where I near about sprained my hand. Actually, it was playing my bass after days of incessant clicking in RSI, making the reverb stuff come together. But um, I've got through that enough to ha start to have some results. And here's the first of the results, not counting K Beyond. Because K Beyond is kind of the start, but I've got a couple here. Listen to this. And then we can do this. Those are the same reverb algorithm. I came up with a way of improving it, which was fairly obvious, honestly. I thought that you could do a three by three reverb matrix, and since it was only 27 uh, delays, you could just do them. And it didn't occur to me to try doing it with a householder matrix on the 27 echoes. Well, you heard what a difference it made. And I am looking forward to trying that and a bunch of other things. But firstly, here is what the um, householder, or not the householder, here's the original inspiration for Air Windows K Cathedral 4. Namely, I tested out Bracosti's Cathedral. This is Bracosti. It's very good. I don't want mine to sound exactly the same, and it doesn't. But in a moment, Here's what mine can do. With pretty much the same type of settings. Here's Bracosti again. Again, it sounds really good. This is not about like, oh, I'm going to beat Bracosti, but I think I did manage to get something of a deeper sound, and I'll tell you what I think worked for me. Note also that you don't have to use these settings. For instance, I've got a filter setting. You can have a very bright and very deep sound out of this. Or you can de-res it, if you want. What I'm doing is having the default filter setting closely resemble what Bracosti chose for brightness. But I often like going a little brighter than that. So you might find that you'll enjoy a sound that'll go a little brighter than that. We can sneak uh, dry in there so you can hear what it's doing. We can go back to, oh, we're not going back to after all. Don't mind me. The Mellotron type sound. And in fact, we can do that with even more brightness. And even more regeneration. And this is basically for just setting up 
whatever kind of giant cathedral sound you might want. Uh, there's one small difference between mine and the Bracosti, uh, the price. I know that's sassy, but it's still true. My software is MIT licensed open source, meaning that if you are building, for instance, a synthesizer based on, I don't know, you're building it off of Raspberry Pis or something, and you've got one of the synthesizers where it's actually a little computer in there, um, as long as you credit and honor the terms of the MIT license, you can include this reverb in your synthesizer and sell it today. No licensing fee, nothing like that. You just must credit. And I don't know whether people are going to do that, but I do know that my stuff is showing up in the world of Eurorec and a number of other places as well. So this is just the most recent edition. It is K Cathedral 4 meaning that there was a K-Cathedral and a K-Cathedral 2 and a K-Cathedral 3. Each step of the way, I was trying to make them better. This current round of them went really hard, and I pushed really hard to get that depth and tonality using the techniques I was using for K-Beyond. But with the improvements I showed you, like with the two examples where one of them was a three by three early reflections matrix. That's what the early RF label does is you can cut that right out or you can turn it up even louder than it would default to. And what it's doing is a little matrix without feedback right up front for a good number of kind of early reflections before you hit the filter. And then the filter gets the deep reverb stuff sounding the way that it does. And you'll note that the Bracosti does the same thing. I'm showing you the Bracosti on full wet. It sounded like there were dry signals in there, but that was early reflections there as well. Mine don't work quite the same way, but um, it's, all, it's all in the reverb making biz. I hope you enjoy K Cathedral 4. It's not the last along the lines of stuff that I'm working on, but I figured, why not? I will get back to work, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.